I'm going to show you how you can customize your Android home screen from this to this, as well as show you my go-to apps that I use to stay productive and organized and how those apps can really help you in your day-to-day -day life. So this is what we are working with. I recently got a new phone after upgrading from the Samsung Galaxy S8 that I had over four years. It was a great phone. And now I have the FE20. Before we get started, decide on an aesthetic. You can find inspiration online. Pinterest is a great source for just going through different aesthetics. They have a lot of nice pictures and you can find different elements on what you want to incorporate for the look of your phone. So this is the outside of my phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy FE20 in the color Cloud Lavender and I got this phone case from AliExpress. I'll have it linked down below. It's amazing because not only is it cute, it also has a little mirror. Also make sure to have phone screen and camera protectors. Everything I mentioned will be linked down below. Now first things first, we want to declutter our app, so what do you really need? Now I want to choose what apps am I going to put on the home screen on the bottom because we want to access certain apps easily. Now the apps I'm going to choose first of all is Audible because I love audiobooks in the morning when I'm cleaning, cooking or running errands and things like that. Next is Spotify, you know, podcasts or music for when I'm working. House music really helps me focus when I kind of feel down. Google is a must because I like to quickly look things up, like the weather in my area and so on. Todoist, when I'm working, a lot of tasks and reminders can come up in my mind. I have to write it down to keep my mind clear or else I won't be able to focus on the particular task that I'm working on. Also, I have separate sections for my grocery lists, cleaning routines, and a b-roll checklist for when I'm filming. And if this video has been helpful so far, give this video a like and if you want more tips on how you can use technology to become your most productive self and reach your most ambitious goals, then subscribe as well because I make a lot of videos like that. Now for the background, Pinterest is a great place to find aesthetic looking backgrounds. Remember to keep it simple ideally because you know we're gonna put some widgets on and it'll just look very messy if it's widgets plus a very busy background. If you've made it this far to the video, let me know in the comments what aesthetic would you choose because I know there's a lot of good ones out there. Then we're just gonna organize all of the apps that you have so since everything is uninstalled, just put everything you actually use into separate folders that are categorized. And if you want, you can put some hearts on the side as well. That's what I like to do because it just looks cuter, that's all. And just really makes things look a lot neater. Now go to Samsung themes and choose a theme. Now, if you want to pay for one or you want to have a free one, it's completely up to you. I prefer a free one. So I just go to the specific category where it says top free and just scroll through that. Now for the icons for your apps, do the same thing. If you want to cho choose a free one, do so, or a paid one, whichever. But I'm also going to go to the top free categories and just scroll through and see what fits the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for. Now, of course, if you only go through the free one, there will be more limited options, but you know, sometimes Free, the free one is all you need. Now once we have those set up, we're gonna add some widgets. So to me, this is the fun part. So I have two pages. Action page, so my schedule, to-do list, things like that. And then the inspiration page, which is quotes and images that inspire me. So the main widget I want to show you guys is the simple photo widget. You can put any images as a widget, you can make a slideshow, you can make the slideshow as fast as or as slow as you do want, and it's just very customizable. Get some quotes and turn them into images or get some quotes online that have a nice background. If you really like a specific quote, but there's no image that looks nice, that fits the aesthetic, then just make your own on Canva. It is super simple and super easy. Sometimes I make my own because I'm picky, but sometimes I can actually find really good quotes that have a nice looking design to them. But you want to make sure that everything looks cohesive. Now collect some images either on Google or again Pinterest 
that you would put in your vision board. There's some really good ones out there and if you like a specific image but it doesn't have the kind of colors that I would ideally suit your home screen, you can use Adobe Lightroom, the mobile app, and it's great for slightly altering or changing the colors of the chosen image. I found that this app is the best for that. So let me show you how to actually add a widget. So you press the plus icon here, then add. Now this will appear on your home screen. Just tap on it and click on the gear icon. Now these are the settings. First of all, we need to add the photos. And I just have a few pins from Pinterest that I downloaded and I'm gonna add the pictures I want this slideshow to have. Just choosing all of these. And it's basically like vision boards and things, anything you would put on a vision board. Select, now go back, and now you can change all of the settings, whatever you want to do. And then this is the interval, this is the most important one. So I put every five seconds and then create, and there you go, it's done. And you can just, you know, resize it however way you want. I want it to be kind of like a square. And another way you can do it is you can add it as a widget by clicking press and hold on the screen and then going to the widgets and search and then searching it up and as you can see it's right here just click on it and add it and then the settings pop up and then you do the exact same thing so i want to have two photo bit widgets and then one quote the widget so it's the exact same process then, of course, I need to add some widgets that keep me productive and help me stay on track with my tasks and events and appointments and all of that. So I have a Google Calendar widget set up, then also a Todoist widget, which you can also change the settings of that. You can make it more opaque or more transparent, or you can hide the logo. You can make the theme more black and white or red and white. And then my favorite planning app software, ClickUp, has to have a widget on the home screen as well. So the Habit Tracker app that I use has its own widget as well, which is very interactive. So I'm going to add that to my home screen as well. Now, when you've changed your home screen, take a screenshot and share it on Instagram and tag me because I would actually love to see all the different designs or styles that you guys come up with because I know that people have very different aesthetics and it's actually really nice to see people get creative with this. And you want to make sure it actually looks like something that makes you feel uplifted. Now, I quickly also want to mention my go-to apps that I use that will really help you stay productive and organized. First of all, Todoist is great for quick tasks that pop into your head and make it easy to access on the home screen. Because yeah, even though I like my very detailed customizable planners or project management software like ClickUp, I also love a little super simple app that is great for things that quickly pop into my head and I want to quickly jot them down or just really quick small to-do lists. You want to make sure that it's easy to access on the home screen. The second thing I have is have a digital planner that is easy to access on your phone. Mine is ClickUp. That is my main digital planner for goal tracking, task and project management. And I just have a whole playlist on how to use ClickUp as a digital planner. Now have a Google Calendar widget to see your schedule for certain appointments and events, things you cannot miss. You don't have to put everything on your Google Calendar, at least just things that you cannot miss, like doctor's appointments or the hair salon or um, specific Zoom meetings or work, things like that you can put on your schedule and then you'll have a very easy to see schedule on your home screen or even just reminders as well that you've added to Google Calendar. Now, Evernote is a great app for note taking, quick notes. ClickUp also has a great note taking feature, but it really depends which one you prefer because they do have slight differences and I have pros and cons for both, so I'm, I kind of jump between them all the time. It's very, very important to make your phone work for you, not the other way around. Don't let your phone distract you, because that's what they're designed for. You should avoid that from happening as much as possible. And one of the best apps for that is called App Block. 
You can block certain apps, notifications, websites on your phone after a certain amount of time, or you can set it as, I can only be on this website for 20 minutes or on this app for 20 minutes, no more than that daily. Or you can even just quickly block them. But either way, it's a great app. The next app I also mentioned in this video was the Habits app. This is what I use to track my habits. I'm still going through a little bit of a phase to see which Android habit tracking app is the best. Let me know if you want a video on that. I can compare the best ones and make it an easier decision for you as well. But I really, really like having a habit tracker on your phone because we want our ha habits to be easy to access. And there we go. This is the finished result. This is what my phone looks like. I think it's pretty cute. Also, if you have a Windows computer that you want to organize and make that look neat and nice as well, check out this video where I show you step by step how to achieve that. I hope you have a productive week and I will see you next time. Ciao!